Hey folks, if your email is constantly getting bumba- <clears throat> Take two. If your email inbox has become completely overloaded with, if you can't go two seconds without receiving a, all right, that probably did happen. If you're getting bombarded with political emails, then this is the video for you. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create a custom email filter so that you can get back to doing other things like, oh, I don't know, remembering to vote. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hello everyone and welcome to the class. Before we dive into everything, I wanna make something very clear. No matter who you are or who you're planning to vote for come November, both sides of the aisle are getting equally bombarded with these political emails. And one of the things that I want you to understand is that a lot of them are not actually from the candidate or even from the campaign. What a lot of them are, are phishing scams. They're designed to be shocking and outrageous in order to play your emotions like a fiddle. Simply opening these messages can automatically send an alert to the sender, letting them know that the message has been opened, thus indicating that it's a real email account. And that means it's gonna to lead to a lot more of them. Now, some of those emails do have an unsubscribe link at the bottom, but the problem is that you don't know whether or not that link is legit. And that, my friends, is the reason why you need a custom email filter so that you don't even see those messages in the first place. During today's presentation, I'm going to be using the Apple Mail application, but please understand this technique can easily be replicated using any email service, whether you're using Outlook, Airmail, or even Postbox. Last thing before we begin, I strongly encourage you to watch the entire video. There is a major tip at the end which can dramatically affect your results. At this point, let's begin the class and switch to my Mac. For those of you who are following along at home, let's now open up the mail application and we're going to click on where it says mail at the top left. Let's now click on preferences and click on the rules tab. We're now going to add a new rule by clicking add rule and I'm going to name this one hmm, probably Russia. At this point, we're going to leave this field set to any and on this next line, we're going to click where it says from and change it to subject. This next field is where you want to put all of the keywords that are associated with those junk messages. Now, my recommendation is that you put the last names of all of the different candidates in this field, as well as a few other keywords. In fact, you might want to just take a few minutes to go through your emails, go through the subject lines, and look for any keywords that tend to appear in different messages. Then just simply incorporate those keywords into this list. Please note, you do not want to use a comma between these words. Just type them out one by one, and if it makes your life a little bit easier, you can go into the description of this video where I have placed a little list of some of the words that I found. And you're of course welcome to just copy and paste those into this field. One other little quick note. Uh, so I mentioned only the last names of the different candidates. And part of the reason why that is, is if you put Joe Biden, it's gonna identify Joe and Biden as keywords. So if you have a friend named Joe, they're gonna go into the spam folder as well. So. Just do the last names and, and if you're friends with anyone whose last name is Biden or Trump, you know, maybe this is the excuse that you need to delete them from your contacts. Just saying. We have two more tricks to go over. You remember how earlier I said that simply opening these political messages can send an alert to the sender? I want to now show you a little trick that if you do accidentally open one of those messages, it does not send out that information. Just go into Mail Preferences and under the Viewing tab, make sure you disable Load Remote Content in Messages. For those of you iPhone and iPad users, you will find a similar setting in your iOS devices. Just go into Settings, then scroll down to Mail and disable Load Remote Images. And finally, there is one more thing that you should know about rules. Rules can only be run from your Mac when it's turned on. So if your computer goes to sleep, and then you go to check your email on your phone, the rule will not be able to run. That is, unless you enable Power Nap. To enable this feature, just click on the Apple icon at the top left, go into System Preferences, then click on Energy Saver, and make sure that Power Nap is turned on. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If this video helped you, be sure to hit that thumbs up, like button, leave me a little well-constructed comment down below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.